Thank you. Only Chopper 10 can give you this view of the floods across the peninsula. This is Hampton, where they got more than six inches of rain in just a matter of hours yesterday. Streets were flooded and crews evacuated some apartment buildings because of high water. And some parts of Newport News saw more than four inches of rain an hour. Several apartment complexes had to be evacuated because of flooding. Ten on your side, Dan McNamara spoke with some of those residents who had to leave. Anne? Katie, we just got through one of those pretty heavy bands of rain that uh, Mike was describing. Thankful to report now that it seems to be gone. We're still seeing lightning, though, and all of this is very frustrating for people trying to clean up. You can see behind us, there's a barrier at the Great Oak Apartments. We're off J. Clyde Morris Boulevard. This was one of those apartment complexes that really flooded. Now, take a look at some of the video we shot today. A lot of people trying to do what they can. There's not as much water pooling up, no flooding on the road anymore in those apartment complexes. So people are able to get to their cars, put some things in, take some things out. Out, and a lot of people finding that their cars no longer work because the water was so high. Other people are more upset because of what they lost in their apartments. I just watched water slowly seep through my doors, front and back, and I ended up with about two feet of water in my apartment. I've lost everything that I've owned in there. This took me five years to get, and now i got to start all over again. I had a foot of water in, inside my apartment. Do you think your belongings are? Oh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of things that are going to have to be run, thrown out. And that's very upsetting, also frustrating when it continues to rain. They can't get back in to see what can be salvaged. We're told they won't get back in at least until tomorrow. And that's when the management will be back on scene to try to see if they can get into apartments they couldn't reach before because of the water. In the meantime, we're told there's a special shelter set up in the city. It's at a community center, and that's specifically for evacuees. Live in Newport News, I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side. And police found 38-year-old Brittany Heinz dead at the Great Oaks apartment Saturday while searching for flood victims. They're waiting for an autopsy to determine how she died.